Magandang araw, ako po ang muli si Imelda B. De Guzman at ang topic ko ngayon ay special products. Okay, ano ba yung sabi natin special products? So, comment down below kung bakit tinawag nating special products ang ating mga polynomials. Okay, ang special products ay very useful in finding the products of two polynomials. So, by using the pattern, mas madali natin masasagutan at mas mabilis natin maibibigay ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, dito sa ating pagkuha ng products, hindi na natin gagamitin ang FOIL method or ang distributive property na ginawa nating method kahapon sa ating activity. So, ngayon, tatry natin gamitan ng pattern. Pero, kung sakali kayo ay lito, pwede nyo pa rin gamitin yung method na alam nyo na. So, yung FOIL method and yung distributive. So, pwede nyo gamitin yun para i-check na lang kung tama ang sagot ninyo using the pattern, ha? Okay, there are different kinds of special products. So, we have sum and difference of two terms, square of binomial, square of trinomial, cube of binomial, sum and difference of two cubes. So, ngayon sa, ati, sa araw na ito, ang i-discuss ko lang is sum and difference of two terms at yung square of binomial. Okay, simulan natin ang ating lesson sa sum and difference of two terms. When the sum and difference of a binomial are multiplied to one another, the product is the difference of two squares. Sulat natin in two symbols. Quantity A plus B times quantity A minus B. Yan po ang ating given pag ang pinag-uusapan ay sum and difference of two terms. Napansin nyo ba na magkapareho lang ang mga variables na ating mga ginamit? So, sa first binomial factor natin, we have A and B. And for the second binomial factor, we also use A and B. So, ano pinagkaiba lang nila? Okay, sa first binomial factor natin, ang ginamit natin ay plus. Sa second binomial factor naman ay minus. So, paano natin kukunin o ipagmumultiply pag ganyan ang ating problem? So, hindi na tayo gagamit ng, ng FOIL method, kundi sundan ang pattern na ito. So, i-multiply lang natin yung first terms. A times A is equal to A squared. And yung second terms natin, positive B times negative B is equal to negative B squared. So, laging ganyan ang magiging sagot pag ang given natin ay kagaya niyan. So, difference of two squares. So, perfect square, yung first term, we have a squared. At yung b squared natin is also a perfect square. Okay, ang ating given ay quantity x plus 2 times quantity x minus 2. So, ang first term natin ay x at ang ating second term ay 2. So, let us stick with the rule. Ano ang sabi natin sa, sa pattern kanina? Square the first term and square the second term. So, pag ang given natin is sum and difference of two terms, ang ating product is difference of two squares. So, let us now try using the pattern. So, uh, ang first term is x. So, let us square the first term. So, x is squared. Okay, next, square the second term. 2 squared. So, 2 squared is equivalent to 2 times 2. So, we have 4. So, ngayon, ang ating sagot ay x squared minus 4. Okay, pwede nyo rin gamitin yung isang method na ito. So, i-multiply lang yung parehong first term para magkaroon tayo ng x squared. At i-multiply naman yung dalawang second terms. So, 2 times negative 2, we have negative 4. Okay? Next, quantity 2x plus 1 times quantity 2x minus 1. 
So, by following the pattern, we're going to square the first term and square the second term. Ang first term natin is 2x. So, quantity 2x squared is equivalent to 2x times 2x equals 4x squared. Then, square the second term. So, we have 1 squared. So, it is equivalent to 1 times 1 equals 1. So, ang ating final answer is 4x squared minus 1. Another, we have quantity x squared plus 3 times quantity x squared minus 3. So, let us uh, follow the pattern. Square the first term. So, x squared raised to the second power is equivalent to x squared times x squared. So, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng mayroong exponent at pareho ang base, ikakapi lang natin yung base at ipa-plus yung dalawang exponent. So, 2 plus 2 ay 4. So, ang ating magiging sagot pag ang uh, minultiply natin yung x squared at x squared, we have x to the fourth power. Next is squared the second term which is 3. So, 3 squared is equivalent to 3 times 3. So, it is equal to 9. So, ngayon, ang ating sagot ay difference of 2 squared na x to the fourth minus 9. So, ganyan lagi ang sagot ha. Hindi magiging plus ang sagot natin. At laging binomial or 2 terms lang ang product. Next, quantity 4x cubed plus 5 times quantity 4x cubed minus 5. So, ang first term natin is 4x cubed. So, quantity 4x cubed squared, is squared natin yung first term. So, expand natin 4x cubed times 4x cubed is equal to, okay, unahin muna natin ipag-multiply yung mga constant. So, 4 times 4 is 16, x cubed and x cubed is Ipag plus ang ating exponent, so magiging x to the 6th power. Then, square the second term, which is 5. 5 squared is equivalent to 5 times 5 equals 25. So, the product is 16x to the 6th minus 25. Our next lesson is a square of binomial. So, uh, basahin natin to. When a binomial is multiplied by itself, the product is called a perfect square of a trinomial. So, ito yung ating symbol. So, quantity A plus B times quantity A plus B. Pwede yan isulat as quantity A plus B raised to the second power. Okay, kaya ang ating lesson is a square of binomial. So, Ang makikita nyo sa susunod na ating mga example ay square of binomial. Yung quantity A plus B raised to the second power. So, paano natin sinasagutan ang square of binomial? Okay. So, by following this pattern, ang, gin ang sinasabi dyan is we're going to square the first term which is A. Okay. So, tingnan nyo yung meron tayong, yung square of binomial natin. Huwag na muna natin tingnan yung expanded form. So, ang first term natin is A at ang second term natin is B. So, para makuha natin yung first term of the product, ang gagawin natin is we're going to square the first term. So, A squared. So, we have A squared. Next is, to get the middle term of the product, ang gagawin natin is Ipagmumultiply natin yung first term at second term. So, A times B is AB, then multiply it by 2. So, we have 2AB. And lastly, we're going to square the second term, which is B. So, our answer is B squared. So, pag ang given natin is a square of binomial, quantity A plus B raised to the second power, the product is a perfect square of a trinomial. So, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, lagi ang square binomial, ang product niyan is a square of trinomial. Okay. Next ay, okay, sundan ulit natin yung ating pattern ha. So, basahin nyo yaan. 
Okay. Yan. So, sabi dyan, square the first term. So, first term natin ay A. So, pag in-square, ang sagot ay square. A square. Next is, 2 times the product of the first and second terms. So, 2 times A times B. So, we have 2AB. Next is, square the second term. Kaya, meron tayong B squared. Okay. Dito sa ating given, I, we have uh, quantity x plus 1 squared. So, ang ating first term ay x at ang ating second term ay 1. So, ngayon, ang gagawin, let us follow the pattern. Ang sabi dyan is, okay, square the first term. Tapos, para makuha yung middle term ay x times 1 times 2. Okay, kaya we have 2 times x times 1. Okay, next is 1 squared or squared natin yung second term. So, let us now solve. So, we have, so, so, yan yung pinakita ko yan. So, pag sinundan natin yung pattern, square the first term, we have x squared. Multiply the first term and second term by 2. Okay, so, we have 2x and square of the second term, which is 1. So, ngayon, ang sagot natin is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay. Yan. So, para sa ating second example, we have quantity 3x minus 2 squared. So, ang ating first term ay 3x at ang ating second term is negative 2. So, paano nakuha yung ating sagot? 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, naging negative na yung ating middle term. Kasi, okay, ang given natin ay minus. So, pag minus ang ating given na square of binomial, ang ating middle term is laging negative. Okay. So, let us now analyze this. So, to get 9x squared, anong gagawin natin sa first term? I squared. Tama. So, 3x times 3x is equal to 9x squared. Para makuha naman yung negative 12x, I-multiply natin yung first term at yung second term. So, 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. Tapos, i-multiply ulit natin sa 2. So, negative 6x times 2 is negative 12x. And lastly, we are going to square the second term which is negative 2. So, square natin yung negative 2. Okay, paano ang, ang pag-i-square? Okay, in ne negative 2 times negative 2. So, we have positive 4. So, that is our answer. Okay, so wala na kayong katanungan. Okay, so yan, basahin mabuti, uh, basahin mabuti at bas uh, panoorin ng video ito. At sana makuha ninyo ang lesson na ito ng Maayos. Okay, goodbye class!